What's going on there guys, it's Mac, hope you guys are well. And today we are doing a review on this. This is a Brook uh, game controller, Super Converters. Um, it's got a bit of an odd name. I mean, obviously the name seems to show a lot of the, the systems that it supports. Um, on the website it's called Wii forward slash Wii U forward slash Switch forward slash PS4 controller uh, to Switch or PS4 um, controller super converter. So this is the, I'm gonna call it the super converter. Um, and it is, it's been sent out by Brooke. I wanna um, thank Brooke for sending this out to me as a review copy, I really appreciate it. Uh, they also sent me out this nifty uh, t-shirt as well. So um, yeah, really cool. So I just thought I'd put that, pop that on. Um, disclaimer, I'm not being sponsored by Brooke. Uh, they're just really cool. And uh, they've sent out a few things in the past uh, to me for uh, review purposes. And I've always given my honest review. And uh, yeah, they contacted me about uh, this new converter. Now this converter I've not seen anywhere else. Um, I can't seem to find it um, on like your Amazons and your Ebays. Um, at the moment it's on this website. Um, I think it's called ADZ. Uh, gaming so um, I'll give a link to that website in the description below so you can check it out for yourself um, it's not a sponsored link so if you uh, want to purchase it uh, do feel free to get it I believe it's out of stock at the moment it goes for $31.99 uh, that's UK GBP pounds so uh, what this is essentially is it converts all of this for your switch your PS4 and your PC uh, via X input. Now that's a lot of connections. I'm gonna have it up on the website. Uh, I'm gonna have it up on the screen so you can see it as well. Uh, but essentially, so what they got on the website is uh, the actual uh, picture of the um, adapter itself. And it says it features USB interface, which permits hot swapping, uh, firmware updates, vibration support, full button compa compatibility. Um, shows a lot of instructions on how to use it. They've got a lot of different types of um, mapping as well. So you can obviously um, map the controller to the specific buttons that you wish. But um, I personally would just leave it as it is because um, I'd rather not uh, move around or change too much of that. Uh, sorry, excuse me, it is extremely hot at the moment in London. Um, we're having one of some crazy heat waves. It's about 33 degrees outside at the moment. I believe so it is baking in here so I've got the windows open so I apologize about some uh, passing sound of cars and all that uh, but um, it is baking in here <laughs> I've got these lights in front of me as well um, so yeah excuse the glare on my face um, so yeah let's quickly just unbox this um, so what you got here is you've got Joy-Con, Switch Pro Controller, PS4, Wii U uh, Pro Controller, Wii Remote, wireless mode all connects to this dongle wirelessly and um, you can then use it on the Switch and the PS4 obviously you just plug this into the PS4 or the Switch and you can use it um, unfortunately it doesn't seem to have any Xbox uh, One controller or Xbox 360 controller support so um, that's a bit of a shame but because Xbox controller is one of my favorite controllers uh, but I believe the uh, but the Switch Pro controller is one of my favorites except for the D-pad I personally prefer the D-pad on the Xbox One controller uh, but other than that this is one of my favorite controllers um, the triggers and everything are brilliant and now with this dongle, I'll be able to use this on my PS4. So that's pretty cool. Brooke had one of those adapters. I did the video on them, by the way, if you want to have a check at that, check that out. Um, they have uh, an adapter that allows you to run your Xbox controller on the PS4, on the Xbox as well, but also on the Switch. Um, that one allows my Xbox controller to work on the, on the actual uh, PS4. So I can still use that but there wasn't a system in place for using my actual um, got a few stickers there as well and that's pretty much it and um, you've got um but there was never any way to bring this controller onto other systems um, other than the switch um, at the at this time until now because this allows me to use this on uh the the ps4 which is awesome can't use it on the xbox um, but that's fine. The Xbox controller is brilliant anyway, very similar to this anyway. Um, the PS4 controller is not one of my favorite controllers. I really don't like the, the layout of the sticks, um, the D-pad. Um, it's, it's really odd. So I personally prefer Xbox and Switch controllers. And this dongle, I can get to make, make it work on the PS4, which is really cool. Now this is the dongle itself. Um, 
it has a little button here, uh, USB. It has a bit of an indicator light over there and it says at the bottom, uh, we we use Switch PS4 to Switch and PS4. So that's different variations that it can do. Very small. And I just want to zoom in so you can see the controllers that it supports. You can see that. And that's pretty much it. That's what's inside. Quite a nice packaging. All right, so the big test. Let's see how it works. You can't really use um, any form of USB connected um, devices because essentially what this, I believe, is going to be doing is going to be running at, in USB mode. So that should be cool. Also, another good, really cool feature that I wanted to show you guys was that it has this connection right here. This is the classic Wii controller connection. So what I want to do with that is I'm going to be able to connect this wirelessly or wired, but mainly I want to try this which is my classic uh, Wii Pro Controller because it has this connection, which is the propriety Wii connection. And it also means I can use my, let me get this out, this. This is my Super Nintendo uh, Classic Controller. As you can see, the bottom has this connection right here. So that will just connect directly into this and we'll have a connection, wide connection, but it should work on the switch. So that's why I want to test that as well, because that is really awesome. I'm trying to look for these type of connectors um, as a sort of like an adapter that you can use to go straight into a USB or something like that. Um, and they're quite rare, you know, you can't really find it to find a converter it's like this. So this is the first time I've sort of seen something that's giving me this option. So that's really cool. And I hope it works. So. So yeah, while we got the Super Nintendo controller out, we must do it because, you know, there's, there's rumors of the Super Nintendo coming onto uh, the Switch soon via their online support. So that should be cool. You should be able to um, use your um, SNES controllers on for the SNES game that's gonna be coming on the Switch soon. So let's see, back. Yep, it's working. You get D-pad. A to enter. Yep, jump. Ah, okay. The only issue I can see at the moment is the fact that the D-pad is coming up as the D-pad on the Switch Pro controller. So it's not the actual joystick, which is the one they use to move. This is the the, the map and all that stuff. So there is no motion because this controller doesn't have no motion anyway. But everything else seems to be working fine. Um, if we, how do you even go to the home? Actually, there's not enough buttons for you to go to the home. How would you go to the home screen? You can't really. Anyway, um, let's get off that. So it works to a degree, but obviously you gotta remember, not enough buttons. What I really appreciate about these controllers is that I want all the controllers to at least have all the buttons. And I think the SNES Classic sort of falls short for that but these classic controllers have everything you have got the two joysticks you've got the uh, the two l and two r buttons and so that's pretty much all the buttons you need um three buttons in the middle nowadays so you've got the home button plus and minus so obviously uh, the start select options as long as you've got those buttons you'll be fine um on any controller um and even the classic um, controller, you know, the one that doesn't have the handles for the Wii, they have the two triggers as well. Um, they're just basically side by side rather than it being front and back, because obviously to save space because it's a tiny controller. But the fact that they have it means that it will work and it means that you'll have all the functionality of all the buttons, which is what I'm always looking for. I don't like controllers that have don't have enough buttons, especially like that Mega Drive controller that released by um, a bit though. Um, I think it was a bit though. Um, doesn't have all the buttons. Okay, so let's see how this is working. So this is the D-pad, which is fine. And the joystick is moving. Uh, no motion, I don't think this has any motion. This doesn't have motion, by the way. But yeah, uh, pretty cool. It just, whoops, sorry. It just works as it should do on Super Mario Odyssey. 
That is pretty cool. This is a wide connection, obviously. Uh, so let's take that out. Uh, next one to try is uh, the Wii controller. So let's try that out. So, okay, so it's managed to connect. Um, as you can see, the solid light has happened and this was initially blinking, but now it's like this. But it's really weird when you're playing with one um, Wii remote, obviously the D-pad is really weird because obviously it's stuck at the top. Um, and it does this, can you, if, I don't know if you can hear it. If I throw my hat, it vibrates. If I press the minus and the plus button, it also vibrates. I don't know if you can hear that. So that's a very weird result. You can't obviously do that to throw the hat. It doesn't recognize motion, so you have to do it like that. But it's really weird. Um, so I thought I'll put in the actual joystick with it. Because at the moment this D-pad is reading as the D-pad, which is you need the joystick for it to work for a 3D game. Um, so I'll put that in. It's gone to controller one now. And that works fine. But at the moment, the buttons are all weird because obviously you've got one and two being, I think, either you know, A, B, or X, Y. You've got A and B being jump. A, A's here, B's over here. The D-pad's still the same. Um, the home button is the home button. So this works, you know, you can do all of that stuff. You, know, you can use your Z, you got a C button. Do you know what? It's really weird the layout at the moment because they've got so many different buttons. And it's a very untraditional controller layout, the Wii, um, the Wii remote and the nunchuck together. So I'm here thinking it's like um, Super Mario Odyssey. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm thinking here it's like Super Mario Galaxy and I wanted to jump and then spin. Uh, but it's not doing any motion, so I can't do motion. I need to press, I think, one or two to throw the hat. Take that toad, smack, smack, smack. But as you can see that I'm jumping with here and I'm having to throw the hat by stretching down to one or two. It's more designed to be like that, I guess, but it doesn't work when you've got a D-pad like that. Maybe you can remap the buttons or not to make it more convenient, but who's gonna play with a Wii remote and nunchuck? Come on, think about it. It's not possible. You wouldn't want to do that. It's not optimal at all. Anyway, so let's move on to the next one. So, let's take the battery out. So anyway, that was interesting, but you know, as you know, the, the option's there, so that's good. So next one I'm gonna, um, so as you can see, the red, red light is blinking again, so it needs to be uh, reconnected. If you hold on it, it starts searching, so it blinks faster. I'm gonna do, uh, make this, the, the patient controller, DualShock 4 going to sync mode so you've got to hold on the place and bind and the share bind together so it's blinking like this and then it should connect it's like a, um, a red light quite cool and check that out it does have motion so the controller that obviously supports motion things like this switch pro controller um, I would imagine that the, the switch pro controllers motion would also work on the PS4 and um, but the PS4's uh, motion controller is working on the Switch. Obviously, we don't have no Xbox controller to test it with because it doesn't support it. So I mean, we do have Xbox controller, but there's no point in using it because it's not going to support it. Um, I guess I can try to see if it works, but um, it's not. I don't think it's going to work. Anyway, so this is probably one of the optimal ways to play. We've got a D-pad there. You can move your joystick around. You know, L and R. Um, L2 and R2, jump, square, triangle. I think, um, let's see, that's a capture button. Options is to uh, pause. Share button is, brings up the menu. And the PS button brings back to the home screen. But this is really cool. You can actually throw your hat with the motion. So you can use the full capability of any Switch games with motion. Obviously the Amiibo supporting gonna work, but who uses that really, to be honest? And by turning it into wired mode, you're not going to be using that anyway. Anyway, so that works. That's pretty awesome. Um, what I'll do, I'll also just try 
the Xbox pad while I've got it here. No, as I thought, it's not gonna work. Why would it? <laughs> it's not designed for it. That's unfortunate, I know. Mean, I would have liked it to have worked with this and it would be pretty cool. Okay, so I've got it connected up via USB to uh, my adapter, which goes into my PS4. And as you can see, it is working. How cool is that? First time I can play my Switch Pro expensive controller, I can now use it on a diff different system, which allows me to make more use of it, which is really cool. Ah, oh, that is awesome. I can't even reach that button, but look at the lag. I can't see any lag at all, man. That is pretty much instantaneous. And press the home button, and it goes over to the menu. And you're on the PS4. Okay, what I really like is the ease of this compared to the Brook one. And um, because it's a wired connection as well, or if you were to do wireless, you just plug this in because it's a USB dongle and there is nothing else needed. Once this goes in and you press the sync button, it will wirelessly connect to your controller of choice. So at the moment, with a wired controller, I'll put in the classic Wii controller. We Pro Controller into this, it's picked it up, and as you can see, it's working perfectly. Press the home button, you can see I'm on the PS4. So, a really cool way of actually using these controllers, and obviously, there's no need for you to. Um, sync the controller you wirelessly because it's a USB dongle so you can actually just plug it in um, if you preferred wireless and just press the sync button on top of the on top of the dongle and you can wirelessly sync any of these controllers uh, but if you just choose to just plug in a wired controller via the propriety Wii uh, connection you can and it works instantaneously as well but as long as you plug this USB in to your console you'll be fine now that is really cool, instantaneous, and obviously with the switch as well, it's the same. You plug it in, and you're good to go. Um, that's a really cool thing uh, that it does. I'll be actually using it for that because I really am not a big fan of this. So with this and my Brook adapter for the Xbox One controller, I'll have two sort of premium Xbox and Switch style offset sticks controllers that I can use on the PS4. <laughs> I don't need to use because look at this man. Even the buttons over here they're so cramped because of this huge touchpad for no apparent reason and when you ever do moves and especially on street fire and stuff like that you'll end up hitting the pause menu and stuff like that so i really like the way they place the buttons on the switch pro controller as well as the xbox one controller um so anyway that was a really cool that was a really cool um adapter um sent over by brooke really appreciate that guys um but yeah i mean um it does the job and um it's $31.99 um, UK pounds if you want to pick that up from their website. Um, I'll put a link in the description below so you can do check that out. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Do, do leave comments below if you are looking to pick up uh, multiple adapters to play your controllers in different type of modes. Um, I really am um, always fascinated by how you can sort of interchange different system controllers on different systems and I'm always looking for different ways of doing that and obviously Brooke have given quite a few uh, variables in um, in achieving that so I do um, enjoy their products a lot anyway guys um, thanks a lot for watching don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed it um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already I really appreciate all of my subscribers so thank you very much for that and until next time take care guys this is Mac peace out